Hey guys, this is Gravy again. Um, let's see here, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, making Minecraft skins. Uh, it's somewhat easy. Uh, people, some people find it difficult. Um, now, of course, I use Windows XP because I'm awesome like that, and I'm not entirely sure how it works on Windows Vista, Windows 7, or the Max. OS or Linux, whatever it is. But uh, basically, if you're an XP user like me, um, and I'm pretty sure other Windows, you click on the Run, Run uh, application, and uh, you put percentage percentage sign app that uh, percentage blah blah blah. blah. You know what I mean. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much what you type in, and then you click on OK. And it should take you here. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, after you get to here, um, what you want to do is go to the .minecraft file, double click it. Uh, and actually, first what you want to do is right click .minecraft file, go down to create shortcut and I already did it so it'll make a shortcut for you somewhere in this file and then you exit out of that and then you'll have it down here or wherever you put it you know you can do it from that and anyways uh, you double click on that uh, you are brought back it's just a shortcut to the minecraft file so it's much easier so you don't always have to go to run and blah 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 anyways you double click on bin and uh, right click on Minecraft and I'm going to guess you have WinRAR or GCFscape or whatever you call it and you click on that and here you'll see oops, sir. here you'll see all of the classes and all the technical stuff what you're pretty much looking for is the uh, pictures and uh, if you're horrible with computers, then you're probably lost. But if you've gotten this far, then that's pretty okay. Um, what you want to look for is the uh, are the uh, picture files, like the PNGs, and uh, these will actually be the files that choose, you know, what's what. And uh, if you click on mob, then it'll show you all the skins for the mob. Let me show you what one of these look like. Let's just go with the uh, the skeleton. Okay, you drag it out here. You can right click on that, open with whatever you have, and uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, pretty much you get a skinned out version as if you were to skin a skeleton and lay it out. This is what you would see. Very blocky and bleh. Um, but yeah, uh, but, but what we want to do to retexture that is to actually change what the picture looks like and insert it back into the minecraft.jar. So we're going to keep these windows up, um, except I have that. Keep this up. Um, what just happened? I have no idea. I'm just going to go over here. Um, now, if you have Photoshop or MS Paint, that's all good, but um, I just want to show you something that I like to use. It's called Paint. Oops. Paint.net. You press enter and it should be right there. You can also click on Get Paint.net. And you just download it. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah. You click up here and you download it blah blah blah, download, you get the stuff. Um, that's totally random. Um, <laughs> so after you have that, you can... It's totally weird how that happened. It's, that was not supposed to happen. But um, basically you can take out one of these files. Oh, there you go. Take out one of these picture files, and as we have before the skeleton, you open up that picture with Photoshop or Paint.net or whatever you have, Paint. Click on that and it's gonna come up. Here it is. Um, 
If you don't know how to use paint.net, uh, one of the hotkeys is to press control and the uh, addition button, uh, the plus sign. You go in and you do not, whatever you do, do not move this. Like, never press move selection because that's going to mess you up. Because then what it does is it the program tells it to say, okay, I want X amount of square X pixels by X pixels to be the head or the face. But if there's nothing there, or if there's like a limb there or something, then it won't knew, it won't know that. So it'll just like you'll have your butt on your head, you know, and it'll be all messed up. But anyways, um, you can also click on undo and uh, let's get right into it. So uh, what you want to use is the uh, pencil and you have the uh, colors over here um, you know, red let's give our skeleton some red eyes let's see here nice color of red very evil looking let's just click right there Right there, right there, right there. And over here. And there we have it. A very evil looking skeleton. Um, it'll have red now if you put this back into the uh, dot jar file. Um, you can also go up here and click on adjustments. The adjustments menu. And you can go down here to like hue, saturation, lighting. So you can Ooh, loopy. It's an acid trip. <laughs> you can choose, you know, what you want it to look like. Saturation. Ooh. Um, lighting. White skeleton. You know, all that jazz. Very nice, very nice. You can do this with any of the picture files. Uh, click on File. Save. Okay. Let's go back out here, sit out. So now the skeleton file will have red eyes, and we can just drag it on over to the dot jar, click OK, and now the new skeleton is going to be in the game. Just that easy. Um, and if you want to make items, you go down to GUI, items, I already have already been messing with items, let's just go into my file. There you have, and uh, the weird thing about items is that, you know, the thing that you see in your hand when you're actually playing the game is actually just a, an enlarged version of this. So, like, if you were just to change these, then it would change how it looks in your hand as you're wielding it. So, see, I, like, added a little band for the uh, pickaxes. I made the axes a little bit edgier. Everything else looks the same. You can change colors. You can do all sorts of things and uh yeah i hope this guy i hope this guide helped people um and i don't really know you know because i haven't seen the comments yet but um uh something else i want you guys to check out is um my forms and there you can uh it's not entirely done i'm gonna call it in beta mode but what you do here is uh, you can make an account, very easy, I've tested it myself, um, and you can just start posting, you know, you can also go to uh, here and you can talk about yourself, you can also click on Gravy's FAQ and you can ask me questions, that's me right there. Um, so yeah, you can just reply to this and I'll add, update my FAQ and it'll be happy day. Happy day, smiley face. Um, so, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. So long, and thanks for all the fish, yeah. That's so cheesy. So, so cheesy.